Rats on the west side. Bed bugs up down. All right, here we are on the drums. Today's video is just playing the drums. I have my kit, my Ludwig's here, Red Sparkle, with my Red Sparkle, Silver Sparkle bass drum. Over there, you'll see some Red Sparkle, Silver Sparkle, some Red Sparkle with Silver Sparkle band, and then you'll see Silver Sparkle with Red Sparkle band, and then there's even one with the black band between the two Silver Sparkles on a Red Sparkle 12 by 15. So here we go. Wait a minute. These are my lower volume. These babies, I know they're marketed as like, they're 80% lower or softer on the eardrums. You know, I just realized at this moment it's probably a good idea for me to address how loud I talk. Apparently I talk relatively loud. Uh, like in person. Uh, I mean, there's been times, <laughs> not long ago I was talking to my daughter and as I said something she went, she actually flinched, so uh, I either need to get myself a limiter installed or, um, well, we'll see. But anyway, so the practice low volume symbols, these are steel, they have many holes, which of course takes some mass out of the symbol, but what it also just ends up doing anyway is that there's less wind resistance. I'm serious. So I think you'll see less, right, and more because, I mean, you know, wind, air, air moves, but not necessarily. Anyway, listen to these babies. This one is especially nice. This is what I did. I'm gonna make this fast. I'm going to make this fast, but essentially, so, uh, you know, imagine, uh, right, blah, 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 holes and symbols, right? I saw 20 years ago. I'm like, what's happening? Anyway, whatever. Here we are. A bunch of symbols, cons uniform, sort of a flowery looking sort of pattern, flatter shape like you'd see on K's or, or, or Pisces or, but the difference is on this guy, they're made in, they're slightly different spec. This one seems, maybe they're the same gauge. This one seems maybe a teensy bit thicker. But you'll notice, look around the shoulder of the symbol by the bell. See how there's, there's like a, there's like, a, let's say a row or two that is skipped. See how there's like, like a good, maybe I'd say almost a half inch of holeless metal. Move that one here, close it. So this one's more A-like, you might say, in old school B20 Zildjian parlance, or A-like and then K-like. I mean, they're both more K-like, but what, relatively, I mean. But anyway, listen to those guys. All right, so. And then the, the bells, the cups. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Yeah, that could be a little larger. Anyway, so that's it. So I'm just playing the drums here on this Saturday, June 3rd. That's the song I'm working on. But so we have our 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16. Out. These are, my back's a little funky, uh, but I have 16 inch hi-hats here. Well, they're steel and they have the holes. I'm not able to find 15s yet. I'm telling you, if I were the, um, well, I think it, I don't think Pisces made or are distributing these. I think they should. They might be the future. People, I think, will buy at least, I think every drummer will buy a few of these. Because when you check them out and play them on your kid, You're like, those are, uh, 
Fair, those are steel, huh? Yeah, hmm. Well, they look sorta, you know. AI, right? These are like the symbols you would have seen in like, Omega Man, you know what I mean? 1968, uh, but check these out. But they have, they sound good. They're musical. Thing about that, stand by. I got it's is this a go? You know what I mean? Or is there no hat? Or there's a pickup, right? Oh, actually, there isn't. There might be on the so. All right, let's pretend like we're doing it. Okay, stand by. Pretend like it's 1979. I'm Phil Collins. Here I am at the studio. Ready? All right, uh, Hugh, how many takes have we done? 36. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just try this last one. Change it to you and me. See, there lies the thing. Phil has, or had, well, Phil is getting older, has had some issues. Incredible technique. And I remember on uh, Letterman, I saw him actually play that one time. It was like, uh, he played it weird. I don't know if he was just fooling around, or maybe I'm thinking of the Frida song. I know there's something going on. Right? I think. But anyway, so back to In the Air tonight. Uh, 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 Yeah, like, that's Frida, which is Phil Collins playing and producing. Like, or is that the DOD, or the 909 making that? I don't know, but back to In the Air tonight. Then you have, there's one of those, and then there's, no, actually it's higher. Right, isn't that just fantastic? And then you have, um, actually one of my favorite uh, Genesis songs of yore to play is Robbery, was it Robbery Assault and Battery? Yeah, that's a good one. Or is that dance on a volcano? Anyway, so that's it just for today, a shorter video. This is my Ludwig that I paid every penny for. It is, meaning it's a, a damn good value. But they might have changed, uh, maybe I could appeal to Ludwig to say with the new Son Sonics, they upgraded a couple things, they made the shells a little thicker and stuff and different finish and stuff. They're beautiful, great value, great drums. But I do love the original new Sonic spec. Oh, I totally forgot I left that on under there. Oh no, that can come off now. 
Uh, there's the O-ring thingy, Remo in there. I can see it, but I don't have the thing in it. The foam. Just that muffles it a little. But then again, I have a total hunk. One of the old Remo Soundmasters on here. But anyway, see the die cast top? See the die cast top? Alrighty then. So let's just play. Get this off. This is the Amahe brand tone control muffler thingy. Alright, so stand by. This is a rare chrome plated CNC drum key. Most of them you'll see are the naked variety, the die, you know, the, um, they're not plated with anything, nickel or nothing, or anything. All right, so here we go. That's. Oh, listen to that. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's almost fooling the rainy. You know, I haven't played it for a while, so give, I'm gonna tell you something. Fool Ray is one of those songs that if you haven't played it for a while, my tux was at the cleaners. There were locusts, there were. So we have, here's a, ah, on my backish. You know what it feels like? About a year and a, two years ago, I broke two ribs on my left side. They were more around like the back of my lungs. They weren't here because when I, oh, it's a long story. But when I hit the ground, I actually, honest to God, heard, there was like a little, I remember thinking like, God, whatever those, those that thing I was carrying, I'm gonna have to look at that. Well, I wasn't carrying anything. Ah, uh, but anyway, this feels like it in a weird way. But it's more like toward the top of the right lung back thingy. Uh, all right. Uh, so that's it. So uh, diecast hoop, new Sonic six and a half by fourteen. This was the black velvet variety they had. I am going to. I'm gonna say this from Ludwig. I'm gonna get ten Imperials. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Imperials on this guy. Because I want to. So check it out. Oh, wait a minute. Also, of course, there's the news that PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin, with George Ivan, Pete, and Ty, will be playing gigs in the Balkans coming up in September. So I think that's just, I can't, I, I think it's really nifty. I, get, of course, get to play the Richard Cole. I'll be Peter Cole. Peter Grant slash Richard Cole. I'll also be, you know what I'll be? I'll, I also want to be Clive Coulson. So I'll be Clovson, Clovson, Colgrant, Colgrant. But that's it. So here I am. Just I'm gonna make more videos. I'm gonna do some covers. It's been a while since I've done covers, but I figured out a way to not have everything blast so loudly through my ears. You know. So that's it. Here we go. Uh, let's see if you can guess this. And then, of course, you're like, wow, that's all flipped around. Like that. Yeah. 